this day. Psalms 118 verse 24 and 29 This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. His love endures forever. In most cases, there's always a choice. Even if there's no other way out of a situation, you still can choose how you react to the inevitability of the event. Paul writes in Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Here, we have a whole range of godly reactions to our situation. Add to that list faith, hope, and prayer, and how else can we react than what the psalmist suggests? This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. I know how hard life can be. I know there are difficulties, horrific situations, and sometimes a seemingly hopeless situation. But God has made this day. This day, today is yours. What you do with it may have human limitations, may have the deck stacked against it. But know this, nothing can take you out of the love that God has for you and you can rejoice and be glad in this day. Let's pray. Father, I know I have a choice. Today, I choose you. I choose to rejoice and be glad in this day. Give me this day my daily bread. Lead me this day and keep me from falling to temptation. Dear Father, this is a day you have made. With your strength, I will rejoice and be glad in it. In Jesus' name, Amen.